Cell division is essential for an organism to grow, but when a cell divides, it must replicate the DNA in its genome so that the two daughter cells have the same genetic information as their parent. The double-stranded structure of DNA provides a simple mechanism for DNA replication. Here, the two strands are separated and then each strand's complementary DNA sequence is recreated by an enzyme called DNA polymerase. This enzyme makes the complementary strand by finding the correct base through complementary base pairing and bonding it onto the original strand. As DNA polymerases can only extend a DNA strand in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction, different mechanisms are used to copy the antiparallel strands of the double helix. In this way, the base on the old strand dictates which base appears on the new strand, and the cell ends up with a perfect copy of its DNA. DNA replication, like all biologic polymerization processes, proceeds in three enzymatically catalyzed and coordinated steps. The three steps are initiation, elongation, and termination. For a cell to divide, it must first replicate its DNA. This process is initiated at particular points in the DNA, known as origins, which are targeted by proteins that separate the two strands and initiate DNA synthesis. Origins contain DNA sequences recognized by replicator initiator proteins. These initiators recruit other proteins to separate the strands and initiate replication forks. Initiator proteins recruit other proteins and form the pre-replication complex, which separates the DNA strands at the origin and forms a bubble. Origins tend to be AT-rich, rich in adenine and thymine bases to assist this process because AT base pairs have two hydrogen bonds. In general, strands rich in these nucleotides, A and T, are easier to separate because a greater number of hydrogen bonds requires more energy to break them. All known DNA replication systems require a free 3' OH group before synthesis can be initiated. DNA is read in the 3' to 5' direction, but a new strand is synthesized in the 5' to 3' direction. There are four distinct mechanisms for synthesis. All cellular lives, life forms and many DNA viruses, phages and plasmids use a primase to synthesize a short DNA primer with a free 3' OH group which is subsequently elongated by a DNA polymerase. The best known of the mechanisms is that which is used by cellular organisms. Two strands are separated. RNA primers are created on the two template strands. The leading strand receives one RNA primer per active origin of replication. The lagging strand receives several RNA primers per active origins of replication, and these several fragments of RNA primers found on the lagging strand of DNA are called Okazaki fragments. RNase removes the RNA fragments used to initiate replication by DNA polymerase, and another DNA polymerase enters to fill the gaps. When this is complete, a single nick on the leading strand and several nicks on the lagging strand can be found. Ligase works to fill in these nicks, thus completing the newly replicated DNA molecule. As DNA synthesis continues, the original DNA strand continues to unwind on each side of the bubble, forming a replication fork with two prongs. In bacteria, which have a single origin of replication in their circular chromosome, this process eventually creates a theta structure. In contrast, eukaryotes have longer linear chromosomes and initiate replication at multi multiple origins within these. So what are the major DNA replication enzymes? DNA helicase is, a, is unwinds the DNA double helix at the replication fork. 
DNA polymerase builds a new duplex DNA strand by adding nucleotides in the 5' to 3' direction. DNA polymerase also performs proofreading and error correction. The DNA clamp is a protein which prevents DNA polymerase 3 from disassociating from the DNA parent strand. Single strand binding proteins, SSB proteins, bind to SSDNA and prevent the DNA double helix from re-annealing after DNA helicase unwinds it, thus maintaining the strand separation. Topoisomerase relaxes the DNA from its supercoiled nature. DNA gyrase relieves the strain of unwinding by DNA helicase. DNA ligase reanneals the semi-conservative strands and joins the Okazagi fragments of the lagging strand. Primase provides a starting point of RNA or DNA for DNA polymerase to begin synthesis of the new DNA strand. And telomerase lengthens the telomeric DNA by adding repetitive nucleotide sequences to the ends of eukaryotic.